Using the study skills. I have changed my toolbar to study skills for this part of the presentation. With my text, I have a choice of four different highlighters. Yellow, blue, green, and pink. I can use these to highlight pieces of text I need by selecting the text and clicking on whichever highlighting color I want to use. So to highlight in yellow, select the text and click on yellow. Or select blue to highlight in blue. Select green to highlight in green. Or select pink to highlight in pink. If I make a mistake and select something I don't want, I can use the Clear Highlights tool. When I have finished, I can collect all the information I have gathered. I can choose which colors I want to collect and how the collected highlights are displayed. I can have them ordered by color or by the collection time. The colors can be separated with a paragraph, column break, page break, or no separation. Each item can be separated with a new line. Tab Space or no separation. I'm going to put all the text I have highlighted in blue and pink. Ordered by color. With the colors separated by a paragraph and items separated by a new line. When I click on OK, the requested highlighted text will be put into a separate Word document. In addition to highlighting, the Study Skills also has a Summary button. This will summarize the information in any Windows-based application. All I have to do is select the text and click on the Summary icon. I can now choose what percentage of the text I want in my summary. I'm going to make it 50%. Click OK. The summary is put into a new Word document. If I wish, I can alter the percentage further here. I can increase the amount by clicking on this button or decrease the amount by clicking on this button. By clicking here, I can see the original text with a summary highlighted. Clicking on this same button again will take me back to the summary.